This is a video about a Fedri SDR. Uh, I have two of them. One is old and it is USB only. And the other one is more recent. Uh, it's a dual uh, SDR net. Both of them are connected to this 7 port power splitter. The two inputs of the dual unit plus the single input of the USB. The four remaining inputs of the power splitter are connected to signal sources. Uh, three signal generators 8657A and one uh, crystal oscillator with very low sideband noise and the level can be set with the stepped attenuator. One SGRNet X2 dual channel and I click on it to show here is the unit that you saw recently. On the other side there are two antenna connections and an Ethernet connection and a USB connection. The other one is the Afidri SDR USB only and it looks like this. My old card does not have this 9-pin D-sub connection but we have the RF input and the USB here. Uh, we need the control software downwards to be able to configure the uh, devices because Lindra does not contain any configuration software. So I click here and the latest control box software download. I right click here and save target and uh, I don't want to use the standard path. I have a special folder for this kind of things which is installers here. So I save it into this place. And it's a small file. It's already done. Here I have a file manipulation program, Windows Commander. Uh, the downloaded file is this one and I make a folder for it make directory Afedri and uh, unpack this thing files unpack okay and here we have the control program. And I want an icon for it because this program will be used now and then. And you can see why I copied to installer. It's because I want to install under different operating systems all the different versions of Windows I have here. And on other computers as well. So. I don't have to download multiple times and I want the link an uh, icon for this by right click and uh, send to desktop and get rid of Windows Explorer and here we have the shortcut to SDR control. I click on it and here we have and connected and the default frequency is 28.5 megahertz 28.05 megahertz hmm? Ah 
I expected this to work, but it does not. That is because the connected unit is the old Afedri, and this is a too modern uh, version of the control software. So I have to go to the Afedri site and download uh, an older version of the software. That is Afedri downloads control software and uh, let's say this one right click on that and save it in the same place save And now that is finished, and uh, another folder, uh, make directory, old affidary, and then unpack the old control software there. Uh, files, unpack, OK. And then I make a icon for that also. So this is Windows Explorer, Utforskaren in Swedish. And uh, installers and all the Fedri and SDR control uh, send to desktop. Okay. So this one will be a new name. Old And this one will be three. So, and let's try this and run here. We can set the frequency. Now I need to download Leanrod uh, and install the latest version. Uh, SM. and click on Leanrod. Here I want the latest installer for Leanrod. This one, 04.02. So I click it. And do I want to run or to save? I want to run. And the security check, uh, I don't not care about that. I click run. And English. The DLL package is too old. Uh, I will install the new one. Although it is not necessary for the Afedri because it doesn't use any of these DLLs. Okay. Next. Next. It doesn't exist, so I create that, and next, and next, and next, and install. And launch Linrad? No. Because I want to run this setup Linrad DLL package to get the latest DLLs also. Run, and run. Uh, keep the existing file, yes. If I have a problem, I would try no next time. Finish. So I close this and start the old Afedri 
it happens to be set at this frequency and I can hide this and then start Leanrod. And it is a new installation so no parameters are set yet. And I pretend I'm not an expert so I press S for setup. That was in the old days when there were no different user categories. Font scale 1 because I don't have so many pixels on this screen. That's because I wanted to make a video recording from it. Uh, process priority, normal, zero. And the size, I will set that in percent, so it's no. And let's say 50% on the width and 80% on the height on the screen. And then save, that's W. Sorry, I have to click this window first to give it the focus and then W. Now I have saved the setup up to this point. Next step is to define the input, so that is U and select something for the input, that's A and I want a sound card because the Aphedri USB appears as a sound card to Windows Use put audio, no and 7 for Aphedri and I don't need more channels, there is only one stereo channel on this sound card so it is no and I don't want anything but the old uh, MMI drivers, if I did remember correct. Well, the standard old 16-bit uh, stereo uh, for Windows. So I say no. Sampling speed, I know it's 192 kilohertz nominal for this card. It can be set from the control software but I don't know how to do it. Or maybe something has become wrong in the uh, firmware of the card. Uh, so it's one RF channel converted to two audio channel, that is two. And the I and Q are not shifted in time, it's only some card from Sound Blaster that have a bug that make the channels come time shifted. So I put zero and then I have been controlling the uh, internals of the FPGA from this control box and that means from a Linrod point of view there is an undefined hardware for the conversion from RF into audio. So I press 0 here. And then B to select something for the loudspeaker without put audio. And 0 for the motherboard. And then X, X again. And then W to save this. And I can press D for SSB. There are no parameters yet and I press enter and enter and enter and enter to get the default parameters. The crystal oscillator on 14.15 something is here. Uh, I can feed into the aphedri. Well, I go here delete 14 1 5 0 oh, 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 megahertz enter now I have set the frequency to 14.15 and I can set this to 14.15 to get the correct frequency scale then I can click the signal and fine, it's 14.160.
and if I turn the frequency here of course the frequency is changing and I can change the gain or if gain and the signal becomes stronger sorry yes I can press A here to see how much headroom we have where 4 decibels below saturation and if I turn down the gain like that and press Z sorry I click the window and press Z hmm it gives me the same level so the level doesn't work Yes, it does. Uh, it seems that the um, audio is... the saturation is not properly indicated here because the, that has to do with the FPGA programming in the uh, aphedri. When the A to D converter saturates it is not the exactly the same point as where the audio is at full range. So this is one way of running the aphedri with Linrod. It's not the recommended way. I have shown this just to show that there are two separate devices in the aphedri. It's one sound card and one hidden device that can be commanded from this uh, SDR commander. Now I close everything, close that and close that and then I start Linrad again and do the setup that is U and then sound card that is uh, change the input that's A and then I say sound card A and no port audio and 7 for a Fiedri and no and no and 192 kilohertz and 2 0 now I tell Leanrod that the hardware that we have to control is number 7 the Fiedri USB and then I press D to change the input settings I press A and then select sound card and I don't use port audio for a Fedri, not this time at least so I say no and then line input that is number 7 Do I know, need more channels from the same sound card? No, the answer is no. Uh, there were sound cards with four audio channels that presented themselves as two separate devices and then one would have to select both of them to get a four channel sound card. Things like Lynx 2 behaved like that. And the format, wave format extensible, can be used for 24-bit uh, or maybe 32-bit, they call it different, um, and also for four-channel sound cards. But this is a 16-bit uh, two-channel or normal stereo, so I say no. Sampling speed, well, uh, if I don't know I can go here and click on about and see sample rate is 96 kilohertz so I feed 96 thousand here and it is one RF channel making a stereo audio channel with INQ so it is two number of points to time shift 
there were some sandblasted carts that had some bug in the drive routine, so I and Q were shifted in time. But that is not something for modern proper carts like this one. So I press zero and select the receiver hardware. So I select seven. Sorry, uh, I'm controlling the Aphedri this time from the commander, so I say I don't have any hardware that I want to control, so I press zero here. And then I need something for the output, that's B, and no port audio, and zero for the motherboard speakers. And then X and W to save. Now I can press D for SSB. And there are no parameters yet, so I just press enter, 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 enter to go with the default parameters. Here we have a signal. It's the crystal oscillator. And it's very strong. I will make it a little bit weaker, like that. Uh, if I turn this control, the signal moves around, of course. I can feed a frequency in this box here. Uh, remove something old. Four Fourteen point one five O O O O Hertz. Oh, sorry, that was megahertz. Hertz. And then I can click on the signal again, and I put the BFO on it, like that, to read the frequency. It comes out as seven point O O eight because I have, of course, to put the same frequency here, 0.5, here it is megahertz. So, uh, the same frequency, 414.15. And then I can read the frequency of the crystal oscillator to be uh, 14.1586 and that's approximately correct. I have shown this to show it is possible, not that it is recommended, because it's clumsy to have to uh, feed the same frequency into two different places. The gain can be controlled from here Of course, that was the FE gain, which should always be 1. So this is the appropriate gain control. And you can see on the S meter that it has some influence, as expected. So this is one way uh, of running the Aphedri USB uh, in Linrad. Uh, I can close this, X, and then I go in Linrad, X, X, U for setup, and I do the same setup except that this time I tell Linrad that Linrad should do the control of the Aphedri unit. So I say A, A, no, 7, Uh, more channels, no, and no, and 96,000, 2, and 0, and 7. And I have to reselect the output, because 
Sometimes there are problems with sound cards. If you use the same sound card for input and output, uh, the range of permitted frequency can be different. You might have only the possibility to select the same frequency that was selected for the input. Port audio, no. Uh, and the sound card speaker. And now I have to set the parameters for the sound card radio hardware. <coughs> That's D. Uh, and this is an old one, so it has the AD8330 for variable gain. So I press 0. And I don't know anything about the frequency error, so I don't feed any correction in here. This ADC clock is 76.8 megahertz and divide by 800 to get exactly 96 kilohertz. Press any key, X, X, and then it's important you have to save. And go to SSB mode, that's D. And here we have the signal. But now I can click it here. And I can make a smaller step size. Let's go here. Right click and then put 0.01 here. Enter. And then click. Click. So I can go in 10 kilohertz steps. And of course I can set higher gain. Let's say 20. So now it's more sensitive. And so this is the second way how to use the USB interface with Aphedri. There is a third way that is X X and escape because I have to do some file manipulation uh, this is the Leanra directory and I go to the Afedri old Afedri and copy from here this one the ex.io uh, copy and also all the other DLLs that the EXIO DLL needs. Copy, OK, and uh, now I start Linrad again here and go for the setup U and A and now I say I'm going to use the libxio hardware that's F F and I can choose the absolute address or the relative address uh, if I choose the absolute address I can then copy this installation to other places and it will still work I say zero here. Inverted spectrum, no. Select the appropriate sum device. Press any key. Here we opened what belongs to the oops. Use port audio. No. Uh, sound card device, 7. Do you need more channels? No. No. 96 kilohertz. Put still. And 2. And 0. And undefined. There is no hardware to control from inside Linrad in this case because we are doing that <laughs> from inside Linrad anyway through the EXIO. So I say zero. 
and then B, no, and zero, and X, X, and save. And so go for uh, SSB mode, D, and here was the problem. Here and D. That is a bug somewhere, something I have forgotten. Move this control box outside so I can see. Linrod. And the frequency is 14.170 here. But this one says something else. So I just step one step. And then Linrod wins and controls the frequency. I can now change frequency here, if you prefer to do it with a wheel, or I can step here in steps of 10 kilohertz. And of course change the gain here or here or here if I go for maximum gain I get to the maximum possible here but the FE gain is not changed it should be standing on 1. So this is the third way of using the USB interface. I have now disconnected the old USB only Afedri and instead connected the Neta Fedri with two RF channels. So I used the modern uh, control program, network control box version 5.08a, and it gets connected automatically. Uh, clicked on the about, and you can see here uh, the sample rate is set to. 48 kilohertz. I will change that. Uh, so I go here and write 96 kilohertz and save sample rate. And then uh, I need to know uh, how it is set the mode for it, this unit to work and what is important is here the alternatives are these and I want it to run in diversity dual channel as it already is and this is a new uh, version of the control box it has more possibilities than uh, the one I have been using before but I don't care about that here is an important thing also it is network and you can see that the IP address is set like this this is for my home local network and I don't want to change any of that but it's important to disable the DHCP server. If it is enabled, uh, then I have problems with other computers on my network. They don't find the gateway because they find the uh, DHCP server in the Afedri instead.
So now with the control box in charge of the Neta Fedri, I can start Leanrad. Uh, but that is not really the way to proceed. I have to disconnect and then reconnect the Afedri to make it reboot with the new sampling rate that I have configured. Because here it still says 48 kilohertz. So I pause. And now I have connected it again, but I have to connect from here. So and about what I had to exit the control box and start it again and now I have the 96 kilohertz diversity mode as I wanted uh, I have started Linrod I go to the setup menu so I press A to select sound card. So I press A to select sound card. And no port audio. Uh, and 7 for Afedri. And no. But this time I need the wave format extensible, so that's yes here. Sampling speed 96 kilohertz. Number of bits 16. And two RF four audio channels. That is number four. And select receiver hardware. Well. Uh, I can make it undefined, that is zero. And then something for the output. No and zero. And enter X, X, W. And now D. And I save this setting for the antenna combination. The other parameters are the same, so I don't have to change them. SDR control. I have to set this to the appropriate frequency. So I go here. 14150. Oh, like that. Enter. And here is the signal. Now we have two channels. Linrad will find the optimum combination, which is this. Uh, 45 degrees linear, because they have the same amplitude and the same phase. I can change the frequency here. And the gain, of course. RF gain. And the Linrod controls don't have any influence, and the frequency becomes wrong because I have not the correct frequency here. I'm just showing what can be done. So, I close this, and it stays on the same frequency, and I make X, X, U, and go through the sound setup again. Uh, a, A, use port audio, no, and seven. Do I need more channels? No. Yes, 96 kilohertz and 16 bit and 4 and this time I use a Fedri USB that is 7 and B and 0 
and use port audio no and speakers and then I have to configure the radio hardware that is D and now it is one because this is a modern Afedri unit well uh, it is a not so old Afedri unit so it is one and enter and I haven't measured the frequency error so I put zero this one has an ADC clock of 80 megahertz I have asked for 96 kilohertz but the true sampling rate is 96.038 this matters for people running things like uh, MAP65 this is not going to work I would have to ask for the appropriate frequency which is not 96 kilohertz is a little bit lower press any key and I will demonstrate that so I go for uh, A and A and use port audio no and uh, seven of course again need more channels no and yes and I have to find out what the frequency I need I paid pulse it is 95 uh, two three eight sorry the frequency I need is 95 238 kilohertz for MAP 65 enter number of bits 16 and 4 and select the hardware that is 7 and now when I go to set parameters D and 1 and some frequency correction that I have not measured you find nominal sampling rate 95238 true sampling rate also 95238 so this is okay and I didn't select this I have to do that uh, use port audio no and speakers yes XXW to save and then D for SSB now the frequency has changed I have to go through the parameter selections which I do it easy, the easy way and I have to change that and here we are uh, I can change the frequency with this box it still remembers I have set 10 kilohertz for frequency stepping I click the signal and it's stereo I can do show here the two channels Leonard is just finding that it is the same signal in both channels and it finds the optimum linear combination and if I make it DB you can see that it is about 40 decibels uh, difference between the two combinations of this signal and it might become better if I make the bandwidth smaller well uh, this is the normal mode of running uh, the USB interface I can now start the control box and you can see connect it fails to connect because connection is already busy 
I will now prepare for running both aphedris at the same time. So I make a new directory. Uh, let's say something rod and make directory whatever and open that and open this and just copy everything And I copy things that I don't need, but that does not matter. Copy. Okay. And then I need an icon for this. Oops. Well, let's kill that. Uh, where is... Here we have... I know many of these things are trivial and not so interesting to most of the viewers, but I know also some are not really familiar with this ways of operating. So here we have the program in the copy folder and send to desktop. Exit and here I put it down and uh, change the name to something four slash o two copy and I start again the one that is configured for the uh, USB dual channel and we run it that's D like that and then I start to copy now if I try to run here I press D you can see this does not work now because that unit is already open kill it and then run the copy and I have to make a setup for it. So that is U and A and A and no. And now it is number 8. Sorry. It's not. It is number 7. If I want this to be the uh, USB Aphedri, it's number 7. Select first device for RX input. And no. More channels, no. And no. And 96 kilohertz. And one RF channel, that is two and zero. And I want to use a Fedri USB. So that is seven and then set parameters D and I set zero and L O frequency error. Well I don't worry about that. So we have opened the correct unit and we get here, 96 kilohertz. Press any key, and B, and no, and zero. Enter. X, X, W. And X, 
Now there is a problem and that is this thing uh, x and I look at the parameter screen rx channels 2 ok so it still has the uh, net aphedry but it seems to not have selected the frequency I have to step here and you can see no something is not correct and it doesn't have two channels yes it has uh, so I don't know what went wrong but I make X and X and U and A and A and no and now the number for this device has changed to 8 and I need more channels no and yes and what was it nine well I make 96 kilohertz because I don't run map 65 and it doesn't matter what the frequency is really and 2 RF 4 audio that's 4 and 7 and B and 0 and no no and 0 enter and the control is already set up properly D and the frequency has changed and here we have the right interface what we saw recently was the other unit which I cannot control uh, when the control is set for the dual unit now I can run also here uh, SSB D uh, and here we have that and I can change the frequency and you can see the frequency here does not change and now I can start to compare these two radios I can look at the amplitude margin here and here and increase the signal level and this is more or less the point of saturation in the aphedry I increase 4 more dB and you see uh, it doesn't increase more much more so I step down here and allow the um, and then clear by Z in this window Z and here I can increase the gain no I cannot increase the gain so I increase the signal instead and now it is strong, strong enough to saturate so I back off uh, like that, 6 dB from where the audio channel saturates it is close to saturation of the front end so I have to reduce the gain here to get a similar level 20 we want 6 dB so I want to bring this up by maybe 233 or something 8 
well, five. This now they are reasonably similar. And if I change to the show the same frequency, one five eight four eight three eight, you can see that this a little bit more modern unit. Uh, the level, if I click on the signal like that, it's 120 dB. The older Fedri and the dual channel is intermodulates because the signal level now is too high so I decrease by let's say 3 dB and that makes the this signal much weaker and here it disappears the front end is maybe a little bit I don't know what to say about this I just continue I don't want to make any conclusions yet uh, if I bring the signal level down amplitude increment set 5 dBm and I step in steps of 5 dB You can see that the signal is now ne coming near the noise floor. It is at this level, but here it is much higher. Uh, if I look at the, uh, si s the this is the, the the strong signal and the weak signal is well. I can make it dBm and I can put now what is this level it is 13.1 so I put 13.1 in here to make it show zero on the strong signal then the weak signal is down in the noise somewhere and I make it show only the RMS value and then I go here and look at the signal levels sorry I have to have it in DBM mode and look at the levels which is 24 23.9 that is for the sum of the two signals 23.9 and we had a glitch of some reason uh, and also here show only the RMS and look at the weak signal which should of course be at the same level here as here but here you can see it is more or less noise free and I reduce the signal level again and if I disable this channel I just turn down the volume you can hear the noise free signal from the Netafedri 
And if I disable that and turn on here, this signal is too weak to be heard in this narrow bandwidth. So there is a distinct difference between the old and the new Afedri units. And I go back to a large signal level. And one thing that I cannot say for sure is that the intermodulation really happens in the radio because I am now uh, sending the signals through a resistive power splitter divider which means I'm sending a lot of signal into the signal generator and it produces in the modulation also the signal generator. But it's very clear, here we can see the signal, well the weak signal and a few of the spurs that it has. Here you can see a lot of the spurs and the noise for is far below. I can increase the signal level of the strong signal now by 3 dB and we can see this thing becomes much stronger uh, and one more dB here something went really wrong in the uh, dual channel you can see the noise floor went up and you can see in the old unit something went wrong also and that resulted in a much lower noise floor so this level is too high And this is also too high. And 1 dB. So this is the proper point of saturation in both units. It's where I had adjusted it originally, I think. We can check that by clicking on the signal. No, I have increased by maybe 2 dB. and it looks like a little bit more than 2 dB here so this looks like the maximum signal that is safe anyway uh, look at the noise floor close to the signal well, reasonably, that is about five, let's say 10 kilohertz. That's here. And I switch this off. So here we have the noise floor. And here we have the noise floor, and you can see the difference. But if I now reduce the strong signal amplitude, I reduce that by 40 decibels. You can see that the s reciprocal mixing of the uh, dual channel uh, 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 degrades the noise floor by about 2 dB, while here it degrades the noise floor by 5 dB. You can see here it goes from dark blue to black, and here it's black all the time. I can make this... Uh, 
different like that and here the same for the comparison we can see the noise is a bit stronger now this is perhaps not really uh, a valid comparison because I have to make sure that the peak level is the same which it isn't and these are two channels and this is just a single channel but anyway switching on uh, the full signal level like this it was one too much like that it shows the noise floor remains but here the noise floor became a little bit stronger by about 5 dB and that noise comes from the uh, VGA and not from the ADC here you see the noise floor change much better so I will do more careful measurements later on this was just a first kind of demonstration you can see here there is some noise hump so it looks ugly compared to here where we don't have such a noise hump but we have a much higher noise floor so <laughs> it is the other way around compared to what it looks like at the first sight so now both units are on the strong signal which is near the point of saturation as before if you look at the noise hump here when I change the frequency I go up you see it moves and keeps the same distance you can see it in the waterfall better so it, it looks like a reciprocal mixing I would expect another one at the other side it comes here so there is a signal uh, about 40 kilohertz away a noisy signal from the strong and I don't know something that probably could be fixed now I switch on a second signal generator on 7.075 and bring up the amplitude you can see it was already on but I bring up the amplitude now and here it comes and here it comes and you can see here we have linearity problems it is mixing uh, with the strong signal so I have to bring the level down to this point which means that something in the front end is saturating before the ADC saturates so here is room for some little improvement that would improve the dynamic range by maybe 8 or 9 dB I think well I bring the 7 megahertz signal up one more step and now you can see in the USB only we have the same problem with many uh, intermodulation products uh, I can put in more signals 
Here is one. Here is one more. They are not so strong. And they don't cause any problem. Well, that will be enough for the USB interface for the Aphedri units.